But he's he's incredible, funny, you know, tough guy. He's he, he's he's a great fit for this program. Charlie We're excited about him. Described him as a fellow Jersey guy. Do they there kind is of no speak the same, there is speak the same there is language. no question. You know, you would you know, if I told you they were related, you, you <laughs> probably probably wouldn't surprise you. Yeah, they're as very as, very similar in terms of personality. As far as his history goes with the injuries, you know, have you had personal talks with them? Tried to just give them optimism? Is there... There's, I think when you start to think about it, you know, it's it's going to cause nothing but nothing but problems. We've gone through. You know, this is you know a week into, into fall camp. We haven't had any setbacks. Knock on wood. We're going to continue to move forward and and uh, and progress. He's done a nice job. Thanks, Coach. Coach, with, with Charles Brooks, is he somebody that whose ceiling can maybe go up quicker since he just went played back football senior year? There is there junior college. There is no question, and and this kind of ties in with what I was talking about earlier. The junior college he was playing had a lot of times they detached him from the offensive formation, so he was playing from a two point stance, playing like a wide receiver. And that's what he does well. That's what he does well. Now we gotta, like I said, we gotta improve in terms of getting him down in a three-point stance and coming off the football. But that's that was expected coming in. That was expected coming in. But yes, he's gonna make he's gonna make huge strides, and they're gonna be, you know, they're gonna be, you know, uh, you know, they're they're really happening right now. You know, you're seeing it from day to day. If you look at uh, Ragon, how he's used at Notre Dame, and not much as a receiver. You think people? who just judge him by that will be surprised at how athletic he is and how good a receiver he is. Yeah, I, I think so because from what I see up to, up to this point, no, I wasn't at Notre Dame, I don't know. You know, And they had the, the Kyle Rudolphs of the world and that, that type of thing there, so they were obviously featured in the pass game. But, no, he has a great skill set in the pass game. He runs good routes. He has good hands, good understanding of leverage and top of routes and, and, and that type of thing. So we expect, we expect him to be a huge contributor in the, in the pass game. Can you see why he was so highly rated as a tight end? With, without, high without question. You know, without question. Anyone that has that kind of size, that kind of toughness, that blocks, that can block the point of, point of attack, and in addition to that, be able to run and catch the football consistently, there's no question about it. It doesn't surprise me at all. It's, you know, in terms of how highly recruited he was out of high school. No question about it. And Jim, what's been the most impressive thing about Jermaine Monday? Huge, huge improvement from spring practice. We're moving him around. We're playing him in a bunch of, bunch of different roles. You know, he's caught the ball extremely well. He's playing with confidence. You know, he's, he's comfortable out there. You know, he's communicating out there. A guy misaligns. He's the one taking that guy and getting him aligned up correctly. You know, he's... He's, he's, it's like light years from where it was in, in, in spring practice. In spring practice, we had a huge installation. You know, we put a lot of things in, so his head was kind of spinning a little bit, but the game has slowed down for him, and, and he has been, he, he has done a great job in fall camp up to this point. Very good job. Very, very pleased with Jamey up to this point. It's, it's hard to stay calm when you don't know, like, what's going on, because this is a difficult offense to learn when you don't, when, when you haven't been here. And, uh, I think spring really helped me, like, introduce me to the offense. But now I'm playing a lot, a lot faster because I know what I'm doing. Like when I line up, I know what I got. I see the mic ID, and I understand what's going on now. So I think that boosts my confidence a lot now that I know what I actually have to do, and I'm not guessing sometimes. Blocking is a big part of the tight end because, like, we're next to the offensive linemen, so we're in the trenches all the time as well. Uh, and route running is. I mean that's that's something that I've been able to do since I was since I've started playing tight end so that's just second nature to me but uh blocking is something that I've actually had to work on and spend some time with outside of with my coaches like by myself to get better at. All right, who's got the best feet? Who's got the best hands? And who's the best oh, I'll say the best blocker probably Trent Smiley. He's he's pretty good at blocking. I'd say, I'd say I have the best hands and the best routes. But I mean, Charles is gonna say the same thing. So, uh, yeah. Um, ben at Kansas, he's been pretty good. Um, it's going very well on the field. We all working together, competing, and um, just trying to turn this thing around. Tour days is going good right now. It's the, um, we're going into our second tour day. The first one wasn't that bad. And um, I think we're just going to move forward with the second practice. We had the early one today. And I think we're just going to get out there, do what we got to do just to get better. A lot of people talked about your athleticism, and, and Coach even mentioned that you were split out wide or, or ran a lot of wide receiver type routes at, in junior college. Can you talk about your strengths and, and maybe what you're looking to do here at KU? 
Um, my strengths are my strengths are uh, running. That's my strengths. I played in the spread offense, so uh, transition to this pro style offense is um, going to be a challenge. But I think I can get it done. And um, catching the ball is another strength I have, and getting separations from uh, safeties and DBs that's another situation I have because I'm so explosive coming out the routes. Is the the blocking something that has been an emphasis point so far in camp, and and how's that going so far? Um, yes, it's, it's it's going good. I just need to work on a little bit more technique, and um, just keep getting better every day. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I had a great time in Notre Dame with him. I, uh, he wanted to recruit me. I had a great time. He's this coach voice. He's never changed. And uh, I just want to be a part of something special here at, at KU. And uh, I want to win some football games. Your injury history, how, how much does that kind of derail your football career? It goes all the way back to. Yeah, it goes back. Yeah, twenty years ago, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's but that's a part of football. You know what I mean? So, uh, injuries are injuries. I had some some bad luck with that, but uh, I'm moving forward. I'm I'm here playing football, and I just want to be a part of something special and win win a lot of football games here. After that many knee surgeries and whatever, are you still the same guy? Yeah. I'm still Mike Rigon, baby. <laughs> I'm not. Nah, yeah, I'm. I'm just. I'm still me. Uh, it it has actually changed me, and for the better, has matured me. Has uh, I'm not. You know, when I was younger, I used to think that I was. I was Superman. Nothing. I was never hurt before, and I tore my ACL, my ACL for the first time in high school, and my whole mind changed, and it's, it's made me stronger as a human being. And I'm. I'm actually kind of thankful it happened. Yeah. Looking forward to being a target in the passing game. Yeah, yeah. That uh, I mean, I would. I want the ball in my hands. Selfish. Uh, but if if I don't get the ball in my hands and we win every game, then I'm happy. I just want to win. So that's it. The talent's the same, if not better. I mean, guys compete. That's all it's about. Eleven on eleven, and everyone's. We've been working really, really hard. We've been working. I've been. I've been here since June. And the intensity has been, has been the same, if not increased. And that whole McDonald's All Americans for that's what I don't even know what that.